Now, moving on to Google Docs, which again, apologies here, I did not anticipate the scale of, <laughs> of this, so I'm gonna zoom in a little. Um, so in Google Docs, we also have a help me write functionality, and this can be used for a number of different things. Um, one of my favorites is summarizing content that's in your in your document. So this could be um, it could be notes that you took during a meeting. It could be just a really lengthy article on something, or um, maybe a scope of work, or whatever the case may be. You can ask the AI to summarize it, or just create it, create a bulleted list. So in this case, we'll just ask it to bulletize this, and you can see it sort of condensed this down into uh, a list of uh, bullet points. And so if we're happy with that, I can just hit insert, and it will add that into uh, my file. The other uh, feature of uh, Gemini that's available in Google Docs is an advanced proofreading function, and you can access that in the upper right corner by uh, clicking on this proofread button. And this goes above and beyond just sort of a standard spell check. Um, it's going to identify things like run on sentences, uh, repetitive wording, um, your voice, whether it's you know an active or passive voice. So it will actually provide some pretty insightful uh, grammatical uh, help when you're when you're writing things. So uh, this is great because you know in normal circumstances you might send your first draft to another human to review and try to catch these things. But using the help of the AI, you can get it to more like a you know let's say a 95 percent state before you actually send it to uh, another person for review and markup. Uh, we also, of course, can just ask the AI to generate net new content for us uh, in this document. So again, by clicking on this little uh, pencil button, I can just put sort of an open-ended prompt in here. This is very similar to uh, what the Gemini chat agent can do and the functionality in Gmail. So I'm not going to show an exact example of this just for the sake of time. But one thing that I will mention is that when you are making requests to the AI within a Google Doc, it will use any existing content in the Google Doc as contextual information. So uh, oftentimes, it's better to start with an existing file uh, if you want to have it generate something about that file, right? So maybe we have a large document that details um, somebody that we want to hire, right? All of the qualifications, the salary range, things like that. Within that document, we could then go down to the bottom and ask the AI to generate, you know, a job rec for that position, and it'll use that contextual information from the doc. So, just some tips if you're going to actually go and do some testing on your own um, with uh, with Gemini.